effort and my ancestry uh, want was to reconnect with them, to, to, to add on to these resources and, and not them be names, but be actual relationships I had. And so that's what I've been doing about a decade now. Oh, and wow. why I have all those pictures. That's why I have these pictures. And uh, to ensure that, you know, I do that documentation for my Xiaomi side of the family because it's so rich. I, I, like I have firsthand narratives of people born in like 1880 about their, about their life, like in America. It's like a true American immig Asian immigration story documented in words and pictures. It's like crazy, yeah. So it, it was special, it was really special. My paternal grandmother story is mesmerizing. It's so epic, I can't even explain it to you. It is a strong female Asian American lead that is inter an international story that involves a president signing a law into law. It involves uh, a struggle to survive the communist insurgents back in the Korea. It involves passing through Hiroshima. It involves like an American. She was an American, though Americans wouldn't see her as an American, right? Yes. In Man a Japanese occupied Manchuria, who was teaching Chinese people English because she loved America and yet was on the other side of the fence. And so she was there silently rooting for America while on the other side of the fence. If you just take the ethnic racial stuff away, yeah. she was a child born in 1911 in the US. She was a, a growing 20s child and a 30s liberated woman. And so she hit, she hit that, you know, but she insisted after the war, we are moving back to America and she basically forced her husband to go back to America um, in 1952. And th this is what's so interesting about two grandfathers and the, the complexities of immigration in the US, right? So the grandfather you saw on the Facebook story, my maternal grandfather was born in, in central California and went to Japan when he was like two. Mm -hmm. And so he, and then he came back when he was 19. So he has like, he's really a Japanese person, right? Yes. So he's American citizen. My father's grandfather was born in Japan in 1903, came to America in 1906 and lived his entire life in America. High school, high school college, work until 1932. He, had a, he was a trader in a, in a Japanese uh, uh, a trading company on Wall Street. He went to <laughs> MIT and Harvard and yet he was not American. Yes. He spoke perfect English. You know, it just didn't, it's just because of the, the, the early part of where you were born that he could not come back to America with my grandmother who was born in, in Seattle and they had to petition the government to reunite them. It's, it's so funny, but he was totally American. Mm -hmm.